is what we call the will to fight. The Shan fights back against the Nazis in these grand acts of defiance against the occupation. A return of color to these areas would inspire the people. We really fell in love with Paris because it has these amazing monuments and architecture, as well as this whole world of amazing rooftops that we wanted the Shan to be able to explore. So we made a sandbox where you can go anywhere, run, drive, climb, anywhere you can go like when you want. And yes, you can absolutely climb the Eiffel Tower. From here you can see just part of the huge open world we built. Every block filled with something to experience. But enough sightseeing, we have a fuel you put in the You could just grab a gun and try to crash through that front gate with it. But a good saboteur knows the best approach is quiet in, loud out. Trying to get into the heart of the base crawling with Nazis is a dangerous task for anyone that doesn't belong there. But by sneaking up carefully behind an unsuspecting Nazi, Sean can take them up quietly with a quick snap of the neck. From here, he can take their uniform and wear it as, as a disguise, which will allow them to move more freely through the enemy patrols. But at the same time, he still needs to be cautious not to draw too much attention to himself. So as he gets close to his target, he'll need to check to make sure no one can see him before he plants the explosives. With the charge of planning, this is definitely not a great place to hang out because in a whole sec in a few seconds here, this place is gonna go off the ball of plan. Alright, so the explosion has gotten the Nazis' attention and now that we begin to send it on its area. Sean's best chance to describe it is to get the hell out of the angry hornet's nest and just run. He could try to flee and lose his tail, but Sean's got a great trick up his sleeve here. Nearby in the red light district, Sean has some friends that can help him out with his dilemma. If he can get there without being seen, he can hide there and wait for things to blow over. Oh, yeah. This is just an example of one of the many different types of hiding spots we find scattered around the world. <laughs> <laughs> Destroyed and shot in and now Sean is one step closer on his quest to venture. Not too bad for a night's work. And that's just a small taste of the Sabbath experience. 